Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. So in this video, I have a very much great video for you guys and that, that will be very very useful of course. Now you know already that I have made many review videos of different Linux distributions. Linux are very powerful. Yes, that's true. And in this video, I will talk about a Linux distribution that is getting the less attention or got less attention, but it deserves a lot more attention. I am talking about the Sparky Linux. Yes, Sparky Linux is a Debian based distribution and many versions or flavors of Sparky Linux are available and the Sparky Linux team has made a great uh, work. So in this video, for this particular video, I will stick to the Sparky Linux Rescue Edition because I have tested it and it is amazing. A lot of exciting tools are there and very easy to use. So you do just one thing, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell icon. Okay, and also you can join me. Okay, so without wasting any time, let's start our topic. So let's see that from where you can download the Sparky Linux. So here is the uh, homepage of the Sparky Linux, sparkylinux.org. And you can see this is very nice website and always up to date softwares are coming in the Sparky Linux repository. To download, just click download here. And then uh, you have to go to the semi rolling uh, release. Uh, for the sparky rescue and here are some images and just uh, going down and uh, here are the special editions so game over multimedia and this is the rescue so you need to download this so either you can directly download or you can download via torrent so uh, whatever uh, so whatever is preferable to you you can do it okay just click here so the torrent file will be downloaded and with help of any torrent client you can easily download it after downloading the sparky iso uh, you need to uh, make a bootable pen drive either using uh, rufus or belina each or Vintoy, whatever your choice is and now let's see that uh, in the uefi mode booting so this is the uh, sparky uh, boot menu and so just uh, click enter and uh, one thing is noticeable that uh, sparky linux actually uh, doesn't have any installer because uh, you cannot install uh, this system uh, to your main hard drive uh, but you can just uh, run it from a usb drive or from a dvd so that the rescue tasks can be done okay so you can see this is the sparky 8 release so this is based on debian testing branch yes this is not based on debian uh, stable but debian testing so always latest up-to-date packages you will get when uh, you update the system because uh, this is a rolling release distribution so this is the main uh, desktop of the sparky linux so sparky linux rescue edition actually uses the open box uh, window manager because it is very much lightweight and also very useful so uh, now uh, you can see this is this is the panel here and uh, if you click here so a full screen menu will appear and all the tools are uh, listed in this uh, menu right so you can see <laughs> this is a big icon boot repair and this is a rise of vpn about sparky linux so double click here and you can see uh, this is the sparky linux 8 version the code name is seven sisters so very nice name and of course uh, this is a live system and uh, kernel it is 6.3 so this is based on debian testing window manager is open box and let's talk about the softwares what softwares it has installed so basically sparky linux has uh, such a software such a uh, uh, rescue softwares and advanced tools that uh, you will probably not getting in other uh, linux distributions so very precious i can say very precious uh, uh distribution is this okay the sparky rescue very easily you can open up the menu just right click in the desktop and here you can see rescue tools so all the rescue tools are categorized here below and then uh, you are getting some help and then the uh, uh, general applications you will get so let's see that to what software sparky linux uh, rescue has so in the backup you can see uh, this is the clonezilla dd rescue gui and uh, rescuezilla is there so i already uh, have made the video uh, about the rescuezilla so you must watch that video that how uh, you can take backup and uh, restore the system from the backup so all these uh, tools are to backup your system and then restoring your system 
and then coming to bootloader so if you have any uh, bootloader problem suppose your bootloader is corrupted or deleted so you can easily restore your grub bootloader okay either um, using uefi mode or legacy bios no matter and also ch root so ch router is there so you can change the uh, root uh, root system and also in the disks that is the partitioning right so uh, you can see uh, cf disk is there and disk usage analyzer gparted gparted is number one partition editor okay uh, you know that and i already made the video about the gparted so you must watch that video so you will be an expert of the gparted tool and also g smart control you can uh, change or modify the smart data of the uh, drive and test is this is amazing recovering utility so if suppose uh, your partition is deleted so your uh, files will be lost right but no matter test disk is such an amazing tool that you can easily uh, recover your partitions and the data and in the encryption section you can see uh, so you can create uh, some encrypted um, files or directory using these these things and in the files now eraser now eraser actually a very much good thing okay this is called actually the sparky eraser so basically uh, uh, you can securely delete any file or folder because uh, if you delete with the sparky eraser so it is unrecoverable okay almost i can i can say it is unrecoverable so any recovering tool like uh, photo rake or uh, recuva whatever okay so that data will not be recovered okay so this eraser is really awesome and also uh, you are getting the root eraser so with the root privileges you can uh, run the eraser eraser thing so eraser is very much good uh, option for your privacy and also files uh, are generally a uh, file manager and midnight commander and photo rake photo rake is actually uh, this is a part of test disk utility so photo rack actually uh, uses the command line method and uh, but its uh, usage is very easy i have already made a video on q photo rack uh, so with this uh, utility you can easily recover your permanently deleted files and folders especially uh, any file <laughs> okay so you must watch watch that video uh, in my channel okay so amazing video uh, it was and this is the tux commander and x archiver so you can see also the with the root privileges you can run from here in the malware so suppose your linux system can have malwares too yes and uh, if your windows partition has also some malwares or viruses so clam tk is that for you this is actually uh, gui for the clam av antivirus built for the linux so this is completely open source uh, antivirus software okay so you can see this is a virus scanner utility so so this is an amazing tool in the monitoring so if you want to monitor your uh, system processes and tasks so htop and 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 sparky system all okay all these things are here and in the password ms window so if you want to crack your windows password uh, with the hashes so oph crack is there and in the remote desktop client so if you want to connect through the remote desktops so these are desktop guis here remina is here and team viewer this is uh, you know this is actually a third party uh, software but um, for the home usage it is completely free and this is an amazing tool to uh, monitor your uh, pc remotely and in the terminal emulator okay some uh, root terminals are there and uh, normal terminals are here you can see so all these things are uh, rescue tools so these tools this compilation of tools uh, is actually amazing uh, to a single operating system and a very good job sparkle linux team and here are the quick help so uh, actually uh, these are the manual pages uh, in the command line uh, so suppose uh, you uh, you want to know about the dd rescue so just uh, click here so the help will open up that is the uh, man page will open okay so this is actually uh, in the browser okay okay that's very nice so you can see uh, this is a browser tutorial you are getting and also uh, you are getting some man pages too here suppose you want to know about the okay suppose you want to know about the boot repair so you can see this is the manual page uh, and all the information all the options you can you can see from here so this help utility is amazing because very nicely it is categorized with the menu options 
so i like it very much and these are the normal applications uh, for the daily usage so accessories in accessories image view is there text editor a screenshot utility a vim this is a, a also a text editor virtual keyboard in the multimedia so pulse audio volume control and in the network rise up vpn uh, this is actually a very nice uh, tool uh, to to anonymize your computer so uh, but this uh, the main thing about this uh, rise of vpn that uh, it will not uh, track you or it doesn't keep any logs uh, this is actually funded by the donors okay so don't worry about uh, that uh, this vpn will uh, collect your data so this is actually a good vpn option uh, almost uh, five to six locations mm, you will get in the rise of vpn and web browser actually in uh, firefox web browser you will get here and in the and, and pdf viewer is there and in the settings so firewall is there and also you can change the resolution of your desktop you can change some wallpapers and these are the open box configuration so uh, you can uh, edit the open box configuration so you can change the themes you can see some themes are there and also some appearance and windows and some other options are there and now uh, this is an amazing tool this is the uh, aptus app center this is the tool for the sparky linux uh, to install or remove the softwares and this is the aptus app center so the application category uh, categories are here you can see suppose uh, in the internet so if you click here and then again uh, suppose in vpn so <laughs> these vpns uh, you will get here and there's the back button all right so these are the application and if you click here in the app task so you are getting many options so that's amazing amazing work sparkle linux team refresh package list and safely upgrade the system full system upgrade and install packages from repository install packages from the local drive that is the dev packages and also remove package and clean all dev cache okay cache packages and fix or broken packages so many options you are getting in this nice interface you can search for a package and this is the rise up vpn you can see uh, that rise up service are funded by the do donations okay so no uh, no tracking of course and here uh, you are getting uh, some locations uh, you can see uh, Amsterdam it is it is in the Netherlands and it is the Paris France and it is the USA and the Montreal Canada US and Canada uh, sorry US okay so all these um, uh, locations uh, you are getting and also an automatically use best connection so you can use it uh, very nicely and this this uh, VPN is amazing and it is free to use okay so that's all for today and uh, if you like this operating system then uh, tell me in the comments below and if you face any problem uh, to use uh, uh, these tools okay so no uh, undoubtedly just uh, tell me in the comments below so i will try to help you okay so thanks for watching guys and see you in our next video very soon till then take care and goodbye